All right, well, the FBI needs your help, not you specifically, but you guys. They're trying to identify this man's victims. His name is Samuel Little, and you're going to now know him a lot more. He is America's most prolific serial killer. He confessed to strangling 93 victims between 1970 and 2005. Here is Samuel Little himself describing one of his victims to authorities. Then this opportunity popped up. Mm -hmm. Take her to the store. Right. Instead of me bringing her back to the apartment, I went down to the seventh seat. So I got her out of the car, pulled her out, and drug her into the gross back there. I turned her loose, and she fell into his face down. So he was also a boxer who punched his victims in the face uh, before strangling them. And he chose marginalized people, sex workers, black women, transgendered people, so that no one would notice. Did it shock you that 93 people went missing and no one seemed to notice about this? Yeah, it was crazy to me. It's also that he's in jail right now and serving three consecutive life sentences, so why not admit it? But it's scary to me, like you said, that the people were these underprivileged groups like drug users and prostitutes, and it seems like nobody cares about that group. These are underserved people, and so we just skip past that news. Yeah, like yeah. 93 is a lot of people to be missing. It's yeah. more than Ted Bundy and John Wade, com John Wayne combined. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, and, they, wow. and they think he has more, you know, and uh, I, I encourage people to call 1-800-CALL-FBI because they, they put up sketches of these victims and they're saying this guy has a photo, uh, photographic memory. But it's, it's one of those things where we're talking about he chose women who, who he knew wouldn't be accounted for. You see in sexual assault, you see in harassment cases, the first thing they ask is, is this person credible? Mm. So y you can tell, like, this guy has that that predator mentality to where he, he knew was he was going to get away with yeah. it. Yeah, we saw no remorse in None. that. In, in that yeah, I mean, all. even serial killers know who to go after. Right. I mean, if you start killing nurses and co-eds, they're going to be after you more than if you kill prostitutes and, and drug addicts. And yeah. I mean, it's a sad indictment on society, but it does reflect somewhat on us that even our serial killers go, oh, you guys don't really care. Yeah. Yeah. So, even I mean, they get it. Yeah, I think yeah, we yeah, can yeah, learn yeah. a lot. And this is just a tragedy, but I guess, I guess he's Glad he's off the rope. Yeah, I'm just hoping some people. Big what do you say? What do you say right there? I mean, you, use his mind. Interview him to use his mind. It's like that show y'all called Mind, mind Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. Use that so we can we can uh, crack other cases. Like I agree this. with you. Yeah.